I think because I'm a director and I'm, my job is to make things line up mm -hmm. to follow a vision. I think that's why I have a bit, a bit of a hard time just letting go and like sometimes just being in the moment and letting things flow. At how do you embrace that? It's a dance, you know. You just you just kind of like move yourself and you just kind of feel the thing and you just kind of you know it's it's actually a body. If you really want to do that, do some dancing, you know, you know, dance and move in itself. So I need to go dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go and it do self expressions, uh, somatic, because then it helps your body kind of start trusting itself. It's like teaching the cells on a cellular level. You know, you're not doing it just with your brain, but teaching your body how to just relax and then the more we relax and uh, you know it's not like most people say if I just let life take me how can I have control how I can, I can accomplish things and how can I like do all this thing well you can still accomplish and, and set goals and all that but you cannot lock away the, the possibility of magics. That's what something Preston and I was talking about when we were episode 14 was Preston and I. Preston worked directly with James every day for 10 hours. It's five steps from James. He knows James better than most people on set. It needs his thinking, his way of seeing things. Preston is beautiful. You should have Preston here talking yeah, about this. I would love but um, we're like, James always experiment always allowing magic to happen, mm -hmm. even at that level, you know, um, and that's high level magic shit, you know, yeah. uh, it, it, she's always experiencing, okay, let's, let's see what happened, let's do a take, let's see what happened, oh. so you do five takes, sure, you know, you have your, your why, your whatever, yeah, coverage. All your coverage, yeah, right, and then, then you leave room for magic to happen and it yeah. always happens because you have prepared your people enough for it to be at that point they're like okay i can close my eyes and do the scenes and then then now it's something magical happened there's dance there's this flow spontaneous and playing and it's really come back to playing are you playing with your craft like high master level always play yeah. you you hone your skills then so that you can play and in playing i need more play yeah Shit. there's like, no to wrong be honest, in playing I, yeah i just have to accept that like if i'm being honest yeah because i'm trying to build something so i don't want to be playing and i i'm tr i'm pursuing mastery but i agree with you i need to be more open to that it's something that i have to accept in my life Sometimes I'm just a bit afraid of, I, I get passionate very yeah. easily with yeah. new ideas and new things. Yeah. And you know, I, I don't want to be that type of creator or artist that always following the butterfly and like you never finish. <laughs> I'm kind of a <laughs> and you never finish something. <laughs> I'm kind of one of a, kind of a butterfly person. But, but I think in your, we are in different uh, like roles in mm. the magic making. Yeah. You need to always be the butterfly. And that's your that's your job. <laughs> that's my, my thing. <laughs> yeah, my job is see the butterfly, grab it, and then and let it play here, capture it, then let the butterfly go. But then I still have like another nine months of like editing the the butterfly yeah. performance so it fits the story. But I that's why you're here. That's why I I want to learn these things. Mm -hmm. I want to learn how to let go and. Last year, I started doing some meditations. Mm -hmm. I met uh, someone that I, I really admire. His name is Rafi, Rafi Antebi. Uh, he mm -hmm. has this lounge in Malibu where so many people come together and he teaches uh, Qigong and like other disciplines. And I learned a lot mm -hmm. by experiencing the letting go and the, doing the sound meditations and the sound mm -hmm. bath which I would never in a million years would have really? thought that I was going to... No, I, I'm like a go, go, go person. Oh, I'm not going to sit there. Dude, congratulations, man. You found the magic balance. Thank you. That's it. Like, but you have to have that sigh. You yes. have to have that still. Now I'm weightlifting every day. I'm at the gym every day. Nice. Too. Yeah, to like bring back that. Because I'm very flowy. I'm very... But there has to be a level of discipline. You get work done. You have to commit. Like the podcast is that for me. It's like, dude, every week there's one episode. It doesn't matter what you do. If you prioritize it, you better sh show your face and do the work and give out something. So that's kind of ground me in that, like, 
structure but still allow within structure you have free flow yeah right within our body there is this is so much structure but within here there's free flow there's energy flowing everywhere so they're not exclusive they're all inclusive you know yin and yang is like form and no form it's just that's beautiful that's mastery you know yeah like that's when you have that's when you accomplish mastery that you can be so structured but at the same time allow the energy to flow and create itself that's raising kids right you're going back to what you were saying which is how do i protect my family mm, raise my kids and give them all the eth ethics and the work ethics and my 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 mindsets and so on yet allow them to explore well life is self doing so the kids will learn itself you know like mm -hmm. well we're going deep here usually i go there mm -hmm. which is life itself creating who created the earth who created the cosmos who created you who created me your parent yeah. it's self-doing so your kid is self-doing that's life learning about itself and so i mean life know what the hell is yeah. doing just trust man so who what I, and I don't know if religion is the right word, but mm. what philosophy of creation do you believe philosophy. in? Uh, <laughs> recently, I joked with my girlfriend. I was like, growing up, people here have Superman as their, Spider-Man as their uh, kids, you know, like as their model. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jesus was my superhero. <laughs> when you were growing up? Yes, he teaches kindness. He teaches, because mm. I was in Catholic, you know, I, been, I haven't been practicing going to church and all that stuff, you know, because I think it's, it's kind of sucky when you have to have to do something, you're like resented. Yeah. But now as an adult, looking back and talking to my girlfriends and hearing about RC book, Queenology and Kingologies and his work and so on and so forth, I was like, yeah, um, Jesus teach a lot of beautiful things, just being kind and stuff. So I was raised being very kind. I was raised mm -hmm. with Jesus as a role model and that has really influenced the core of who I am. Just, I want to be kind, man. I want to be kind to people, to other first, you know, because I was taught that. But now I learn how to be kind even to myself. Yeah. Non-judgmental, non-beating oneself up and all that crap. Yeah. How do you think we can practice a bit more of that? Because I meet so many beautiful, wonderful people who have this side of like a negative voice. Mm -hmm. that makes them feel like they haven't done enough, they haven't accomplished enough. And okay, recently, I've had a breakdown episode. Okay. Okay. So we, we still always experience that. But how fast do we like, oh, that's not the voice that's true. Okay. That's not who I am. And the podcast does that for me. Mm -hmm. When I feel doubtful about myself and who I want to be, I listen to the podcasts and I, oh, and I cry listening to my own podcasts. Mm 